wise man should consider that health is the greatest of all human blessings. Let food be our medicine. Hippocrates, known as the father of medicine, coined this quote in 5th century BC. He taught about the overall importance of nutrition and wellness and encouraged us to let food be our medicine. The relationship between nutrition and wellness has been evident for centuries. In fact, the original Hippocratic Oath stated that doctors would devise the best dietary regimens for their patients. Modern versions of the oath, however, no longer include a reference to the diet. We have moved from a medical model that promotes prevention to one that is primarily focused on treatment. We no longer have to be conscious about the food choices we make because we can pop pills to manage the diseases like diabetes and high blood pressure that we contract from failing to eat healthy and choosing not to exercise. Disease, rather than wellness, pervades our society. If only Hippocrates could see us now. Hmm. <laughs> we have evolved over time, and so has our food consumption. Unfortunately, much of the food that is fast, available, and affordable is not the kind of food that we would use as medicine. Not the foods that are high in vitamins and nutrients. No, instead, the food that is marketed, packaged, and distributed to the masses are the foods that are high in calories, fat, salt, and sugar. Essentially, the kinds of foods that make us sick. As a busy mom, I can attest to the fact that most often, the healthy choice is not the easy choice. I, like many mothers, have fallen into picking up fast food when my family is in need of a quick meal. Did you know the average American dines out five times per week, and we now spend more on dining out than on groceries? Instead of filling up our plates with the recommended amounts of fruits and vegetables, we pile on junk food and supersize fast food. The amount of calories that we consume from, drink from drinking sugar-sweetened beverages is equivalent to that of an additional meal. People are overweight, but undernourished. We are depleting our wallets while inflating our waistline. Rates of obesity have skyrocketed in the past three decades. In every state in America, at least one in five adults is obese, and the rates are not better for our children. One in every six children and adolescents in the U.S. is obese. One in every six children and adolescents in the U.S. is obese. When preschoolers are overweight or obese at the tender ages of two to five, they are five times more likely to be overweight or obese as adults. If we don't make changes now, we will have a generation of unhealthy, obese children who have shorter lifespans and decreased quality of life. Adults are undoubtedly role models for children, and they adopt our lifestyle habits, whether good or bad. We must make drastic changes now. We must instill healthy habits in our children in order to ensure the health of future generations. We must reverse the trajectory toward poor health. And so I have dedicated my life to winning this war on wellness. I'm a registered dietitian with a PhD in foods and nutrition that I earned right here at the University of Georgia. My passion, my nutrition mission has taken me all over the world, where I have discovered a new way to combat the negative influences of obesity and encourage children to eat healthier. I created a way to speak to kids in their language and do something that most would consider a bit radical. Let's see. I thought to myself, 
Why can't we engage children about learning about nutrition while having fun? And so I wrote a rap. Okay? I would like to perform it for you today, but I'd like your help in getting me started. So I'd like for you to repeat after me. Eating good in the neighborhood. And making healthy choices like I know I should. Okay, I need a beat, but I need you to stay on beat so I can do this rap, okay? <laughs> so we're gonna clap like this. Great. All right, here we go. I eat a bounce diet like every day, and I feel so much better when I run in place. When I work up a sweat, I can feel my heart pumping. Moving and grooving to a beat that's pumping. Want to keep my body clean, I want my food to be greasy. That's why fruits and veggies are off the heezy. Believe me, they keep you looking good inside and out. And that's what being healthy is all about. I said I'm eating good in the neighborhood and making healthy choices like I know I should. I got to cut the fat so I can do my body good so I can feed him fruits and veggies like I know I should. I know eating five a day is the key. Hey, yo, I'm just doing what's best for me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. This is how, this song is how I discovered that my gift is communicating nutrition messages to kids through the arts. Yes, the arts. Think about it. Most of us have an experience with the arts that we can still remember from childhood. How many of you can still recall a song from chorus or a play from a poem from a school play. These experiences are imprinted in the mind and never forgotten. And for this reason, I use theater, dance, hip hop, and music to ignite children's interest in healthy living. I also wrote a play called Little Red Riding Through the Hood. <laughs> It's okay to laugh, a lot of people laugh. This play teaches children how to eat healthy and exercise. Thousands of children have seen the play, and the data shows that this arts approach really works. Just listen to what some of the children had to say. A fifth grader from Atlanta said, I just love your play. Thanks for helping me with the food problem. Now I eat things like carrot, salad, and apple. Before, I couldn't stand vegetables, but now I love them. A fourth grader also said, I want to live for a long time and I don't want to be sick. I will start by eating right and exercising. I will also stop eating so much candy so I won't have a stomach ache. Okay. So I have seen children chase my play's main characters, Little Red and Big Boy, for autographs and send us letters like these explaining how they are learning to eat more fruits and vegetables at school and at home. You can't imagine the joy that I feel when I see young children waving their hands and smiling and singing about fruits and vegetables. <laughs> I have a vision, a vision of seeing children chase the fruit and veggie truck the way they chase the ice cream truck. Mm -hmm. Can you remember how excited you would be when you would hear the ice cream truck coming as a child? Oh, yes. I would be scrambling for coins and run out the door to be the first one in line to get a cool, refreshing summer treat. Now, wouldn't it be great if that truck gave away fruits and vegetables? I would like to gain funding to have a vehicle that provides fresh fruits and vegetables to young children who do not have access to them. My current project, Reggie's Green Machine, uses people in life-size fruit and vegetable costumes to teach preschool children about healthy eating. We perform skits and sing songs like I'm a Little Kiwi, <laughs> yes, the Itsy Bitsy Carrot, and my toddler's personal favorite, broccoli, so yummy and so crunchy, full of fiber and vitamin C. Broccoli, broccoli for you and me. Yeah, all right. <laughs> and believe me, y'all, it really works. She eats a broccoli after we sing the song. <laughs> When I began my career as a researcher and professor, my boss asked me to think about 
what I would like to be known for, both nationally and globally. I simply want to be known as the lady that got kids to eat their fruits and veggies. It's a fact. There is a war on wellness that is keeping our children from being healthy. I challenge you today to join me in combat. My wellness weapon is my own creativity. I ask you today, how will you be a role model for wellness? What will your weapon be? How will you help make the healthy choice the easy choice? My daughter, my youngest daughter, turned six months old today. She is at home recuperating from surgery and doing well. I am reminded by the blessing of her healing, now more than ever, not to take wellness for granted. I encourage you not to take wellness for granted. I encourage you to inspire others not to take wellness for granted. We must never forget that health is truly the greatest of all human blessings. Let food be our medicine. Thank you.